Hey guys, Risqué here, and welcome to my Let's Play of The Town of Light. So, um, this game was released on the PlayStation Store, um, early August, so earlier this month, or, well, yeah, okay, earlier this month, I'm posting this today, so anyway, anyway, um, but yeah, so, I don't really know much about it. I know it's supposed to be kind of a psychological horror type of game, but like a different kind of horror. And it's supposed to represent like mental illnesses and insane asylums and stuff like that. And so it just sounded really interesting and I like the trailer. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a let's play of it and just see what happens. So this is gonna be completely blind. I have not played a single second of this. And yeah, let's get started, which, sorry if there's an echo, um, I have the audio up since it's my first time, so, my bad. That's terrifying. Oh my god. This, this is scary. This is gonna be a scary-ass game. I'm glad I got the lights on. Okay, we got this. Oh my god, I'm already on edge. I'm like, oh. Ooh. See, I can do, I can do horror games. I just have to know them. I have to know when the scares are coming and shit. Okay, a it. Okay, Wired Productions. Well, that's a razor. That's scary. Okay. Just brightness so the doll is barely visible. The doll is barely visible. Um, English, yes. Okay, continue. Square for continue. It's interesting. loading. All right. You can. Okay, um, let's go to options first, just just to see. Or why access? No. Okay, so I take it this is first person. Uh, volume, gamma, it's fine. English, English, yes, yes. Cool. Okay. Confirm. Apply. Okay, new game. Town of Light is based on real events. That's another thing I saw that I thought was really freaking cool. It's based on real events, places, and research concerning mental illness and the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing. The characters and names are fictitious, and any reference to people living or dead is purely coincidental. This game uses an artistic interpretation, I'm making up words as I go along, of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. You know this is going to be a bomb-ass game when there's a disclaimer. But yeah, I saw that and I thought that was really cool. Like, I I was like, whoa, whoa, well, this is awesome. I'm kind of terrified right now. And it's like 5 in the morning, so it's like still dark out. Ugh. Okay. Volterra, 1942. What's happened? What is this place? Maybe... Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's no one here. But... These noises... can't keep my eyes open. <sighs> Reality fades away and my skin is gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. <sighs> I'm regretting this already. Oh my god, I'm so on edge right now. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh god. And it just doesn't help I live alone. So I'm like, hey. I need a big strong man here. Any takers? Anybody won't be my bodyguard? <laughs> oh god. Please wait. Maybe I won't. Okay. Volterra Tuscany, 2016. Alright, I'm gonna leave. You know, this place is bad. 
This place was just bad, and I don't want to be here. So, bye. No? No? Okay. Alright. Let's see. This is... The, this is a bunch of nothing. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I... I'm trying to... I'm pressing buttons. I'm trying to figure out... Oh! Okay, triangle goes to the synops synopsis. Experience, Renee's diary, memories, medical records. Okay. Altair, 1942. What's happened? What is this? Oh, it's what she said so far. Okay. Find diary pages throughout Charcot Asylum. Okay. Memories. No memories. All right. No, no documents. All right. What are those people down there? What does that mean? Okay, I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, God. Okay, you can use the D-pad to move if you'd like. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, not a lot of games do that nowadays. Let's see, I'm trying... So that was triangle. Okay, my bad. I'm trying to figure out all the controls. X to open, close, use. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Um, can I go in here? Um, oh, I can. Okay, sweet. Oh, I can just sit. Just sit and relax and enjoy this creepy ass atmosphere. Alright. I don't know why, but the playground is even creepier. Maybe it's because I now know that they probably had patients that were children, and those children were tortured. And that's really upsetting to think about. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to go in here. Oh my god. Okay. I'm already wimping out. Oh. Okay. I want to leave this door open, because I, I, I feel safer with it open, to be honest. I don't want to sit this close to the screen. Um. This is really nothing has even happened and I'm like so on edge let's see there's nothing down here oh my god it's so hard to like okay is this just a picture of the asylum or something okay uh oh it's getting personal I don't want to R1 to zoom okay Cool. I, I could use a smoke right now. Can I play some tunes? That'd be cool. That'd, that'd be really cool. First food rationing improvements. On April 20th, bread rations increased by 50 grams per day, an extra kilogram per month of soup products. Agricultural labor treatment reform and extraordinary marmalade distribution. Okay. Incredible anti-aircraft victory. 159 aircraft shot down in 24 hours by the German Continental Air Defense. Major Russian operation northwest of Yossi? Chossi? Sorry if I messed that up. Enemy convoy scattered in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Okay. Gilia? Okay, I'm gonna butcher these names. My bad. Distressed but held up by their faith, her mother Irene E, father Eric, and sister Martha deliver the grievous news. The funeral will take place in La Rom Romola on Sunday, April six, April sixteenth at three thirty p.m. Starting from the house of the deceased, April thirteenth, nineteen forty-four. Okay. Fierce murder in San Cassiano, April fourteenth, nineteen forty-four. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, was brutally murdered near her home. Police are investigating possible political motive emerges. <sighs> that's uncomfortable. Is that all that's in here? So this is just like a little shed? Oh. Oop, that wasn't scary. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling a little better. Uh, not really, because I, I don't know where, I'm, where the hell I'm supposed to go. Um, let's see. Maybe I just have to keep walking. 
Can I go through here? Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh. Oh. And the fear is back. Okay. Wait, ooh, flower, I want to pick it. Okay. here. This place. Time. Memory. It's not a good enough excuse for me. I'm just gonna... I just wanna investigate outside. I don't wanna go in there. Oh god. I'm so terrified. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let me, let me stop me in a whim. I assume these are the main doors. Oh god. Oh! Okay, my controller just vibrated and I just got really scared. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna close this. Close it! Say close it. Why? Why won't you let me close it? That's for switch is gonna calm a little more. Is that like an objective? Do I need to go turn the power on? Oh god. That looked like a face. I am not comfortable with that. Oh my god. Okay. This is fine. So far. I'm like so terrified of jump scares, like you guys don't even know. I don't like the way that door is cracked. Okay, um, let's see. Inventory of objects that a patient upon admission. I literally got scared by like the reflection or the view of my arm going up. That just shows you how on edge I am right now. Okay, charity congregation. Psychiatric Hospital Administration Inventory of Articles of Clothing and Footwear, Cash, Cards, and Other Valuables Upon Admission to the Asylum for Observation. Renee, on the day 1203-1938. Details of clothing, amount of cash, valuables, cards, and note, and other objects, notes. Okay, anyway. Sweaters, shirts, one. Underwear, one. Pair of socks, one. Shoes, one. Sets. Wait. Okay. Diapers, skirts, dresses, trousers, vests, jackets, handkerchiefs, pocket handkerchiefs, hats, berets, aprons, golf shirts, overcoats, towels, ties. The assistant of the day, Volterra on the day. Okay. Didn't make a whole lot of sense, but maybe it will later. Let's see. So, does she automatically, like, pick up these documents? I don't, I don't know what's going on. I need to stop walking so slowly, but I can't help it. Wait, this is flashing. It must be important. Add it to the synopsis menu. There we go. The first page! Alright, awesome. Um, this place is done. Okay. Show text. Hi, text. Okay. Um, wait. I'm really confused. So how do I... Oh! Okay, I get it. Okay, I'm pressing R2 and L2 to flip through the pages? That's different. I like it. Oh. My memory of those years is hazy. Between the age of... My memory of those years is hazy. Between the age of about... Seven and ten. My memories are disconnected, and I couldn't say how many times and how frequently the light used to come. 
My mother gave me a doll around that time. Charlotte. Thinking back to it makes me want to laugh. But at the beginning, I remembered that I was afraid of her. I thought she wanted to harm me, to kill me and take my place. But when the light came, she would stay beside me and her presence. did not disturb me. I was able to talk to her, and so she became my best friend. At least until I was in grade two, when everything changed. She didn't laugh at me, and if I had to say something to my mother, I asked her to say it. When things inside me turned bad, she was the only one I could turn to. Now all of this makes me blush, but Charlotte was a real friend to me. I knew that she was just a doll. I wasn't stupid. But at the same time, she was real, too. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's difficult. My mother would cuddle her and tell her things. I guess she was trying to communicate with me. But back then, I was too afraid to understand it. Okay. That doll is scary as shit. I just want to say that. I, I, are you sure its name is Charlotte? Are you sure its name isn't Annabelle? Because it looks like an Annabelle. Oh, God, okay. Jesus. Okay. So there's creepy ass dolls in this game. Great. Great. Love that. Let's see. Um. I gotta say though, 10-10 for this atmosphere. I, I'm just on edge just thinking about all the things that could possibly even be in here. Uh, let's look in here, maybe? I don't know. I'm a little scared. Um, it's, what's this? Volterra, December 4th, 1926. Irene E and K. 26 years. The woman is a state of great is in a state of great agitation. You know what? It's better that they read because they don't trip up like I do. She curses her three-year-old daughter for having ruined her life. She wanted to take us away. That damn kid wanted to kill us. She's the devil, I tell you. She's the devil herself. She destroyed my ability to give life. She left her sister in silence. Silence is scary. The mother explains that her husband, Eric Kay, worried about her daughter, called a doctor who, noticing the state of the woman and the potential danger to her daughter, urgently initiated the procedure for admission. The woman was admitted to obs observation in the single room. I swear I'm really good at reading, guys. I promise. Not because she was dangerous, but in view of most of her social class, it seemed the most appropriate choice. The mother has provided a generous donation to this institution in order to find a more suitable accommodation for her daughter. Okay. Um, alright. That's fine. Oh, God. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. What? There gotta be a Charlotte. Oh. Screw wheelchairs. I hate these bastards. No, no, she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. Man. I really. Why can't we go out? It's a beautiful day. God, okay. Fine. I love her stupid Charlotte. I'm probably gonna regret calling her stupid. Why is it so dark in here? Oh god. Why? Why? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just so expecting to turn around and just see something behind me. That's like the main thing I'm on edge about. So, what is this? This is a place of a sad state of affairs, I gotta say. Oh, God, okay. Let's see. Does my flashlight have a battery? Or can I just use it however much I want? Because I know some games you have a battery, some games you don't. This looks comforting. Is this like for watching movies? Is 
It looks like a little movie room. I see a little projector. Oh. It's another one of those. Okay. Why are these pictures of these houses? They're in these, like, random buildings. I'm very confused about that. Ooh, okay. But I guess on this note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited to really, like, get into the nitty-gritty of this game. Um, if you are as well, please join me in the next video, which will be coming out very soon, I promise. Um, so yeah, hit that like button, subscribe, share this with your friends, uh, leave a comment, and hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload. I upload two videos a day. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.